Max, how would you sum up your qualifying? It certainly looks interesting for tomorrow. You're in a different strategy to the others. Yeah, not fantastic, I think. Uh, yeah, of course, happy to qualify on the soft, so that, that lap was okay. But then from there onwards, I think it was just very difficult. Uh, Q3 run one was okay. Uh, was just building up to it, but then uh, the last one was was pretty good. But then arriving to the last corner, before that they told me a, a switch change and that didn't work at all. So um, yeah, not ideal. I'm sure you're hoping to be uh, Mercedes' biggest pain tomorrow. What is the key to making that strategy work? Is it getting away at the start? I don't know. I think in qualifying they showed that they were pretty strong. So I think they will be difficult to beat. I think it's more that we have to uh, to look behind okay, us. Okay, mate, it doesn't look like it's been the easiest weekend for Ferrari, but a strong performance from you out there doing as much as you could with the car. Are you pleased? Well, we can never be pleased where we are. Um, and, uh, and the time difference to the front. And, um, you know, it's the handling-wise today has not been bad at all. Obviously, there's a few places here and there. Small, small issues that we would like to fix, but there's nothing major, and it doesn't explain why we are so, so far behind. But um, like I said, we just need to be faster around the uh, lap. Uh, but uh, you know, we did what we could, but obviously, far from ideal. Do you have a better race car when it comes to tomorrow than you had out there today? Well, I mean, like I said, the feeling was wasn't too bad today, but just the lap time is. Not quick enough, but um, tomorrow usually be a Sunday a bit more stronger, so uh, we'll see tomorrow. Great performance out there today. You must be delighted with that one. Thank you very much. Yeah, it has been one of the one of the, the days that I will remember of my season of 2016, oh, because uh, after such a tough practice week where we couldn't even do, do laps, I think I did only one push lap. To come into Q2 and put that lap together was, was something special after well, after so many struggles in the last couple of, of races now where, where we know we are missing a lot on, on the straights in a track that is full of long straights to suddenly make it to Q3 means we are performing very well in the corners. What was going on this morning in free practice three? You had two punctures and was that all sorted? Because heading into qualifying you need a bit of confidence that your tyres are going to last, don't you? Yeah, but we honestly didn't find any clear solution. We just went to quality more or less praying that it was going to be uh, not the problem anymore and likely it happened that way but now that without the pressure of the quali we will analyze everything more calmly and I'm, I'm sure we will find maybe not exactly the problem but uh, a combination of things.